how to set up payments on equity scheduling hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial today i am going to show you how you can set up the payment method on equity it is very easy and simple to do all you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go this is very easy and simple to do all you have to do is to connect yourself or log into your account on equity scheduling it is very easy then on this left sidebar we have the equity scheduling we have the schedule and the calendar showing up right here you can see your tasks or your booking that you have on this uh, for example week or uh, this month now we this is not our subject for today we are going to scroll down right here and we are going to see the payment settings we click simply on payment settings and here we have the payment processors we have three principal payment processors we have stripe square and paypal now you can connect uh, to collect payment at booking on or in person all payments processors are free to set up and take about five minutes to connect for example, if you have a Stripe account, it is very recommended to go ahead and connect your Stripe account. It is recommended from the Equity website. As you can see, accept all major credit cards directly through your scheduling page. We have the Square. Accept all major credit cards also directly through your scheduling page and in person with a Square POS. And here finally we have the PayPal. If you want to connect one of these accounts, all you have to do is to check right here and click on connect. Now, I have a uh, Stripe account, but it is not set up already. So I will let you see the uh, debut or the beginning of the process to connect your Stripe account to Equity. It is very simple. And here we are going to see these methods. As you can see, we have here the email demanded from Stripe. Click on here. A little disclaimer, guys. Everything created in this video, such as email addresses, phone numbers, and codes are created for the sake of the video. They are not used for any personal uses. Now, I'm going to click on submit. Here, it will be demanding normally my password. I'm going to type the password of the account now let's see if i uh, am good at remembering the passwords and i think it is not the case here i have connected to my account i'm going to select the account that i would like to connect to equity scheduling here equity scheduling will be able to see your account data such as all payments and payouts history including any data created by other businesses you have connected they will also be able to create new payments and take other actions for you now you can go ahead and create a new account if you don't want to connect this account or simply click the account right here and click on connect it will be taking you if uh, everything is set up with your uh, account on stripe is like in my case it is not set up you are going to continue uh, providing some information and then when you finish the verification you will be good to go this is for stripe now let's proceed to square normally in square i have a good account or a setup account it will take you to the square account right here i'm going to simply type in my email right here and then i'm going to type my password this is very easy and then we are going to click on sign in here it will take you to the uh, phone numbers here protect your account here i don't want to put this account since since it is a test account i'm going to click on remind me later here click continue to square and here we have the uh, permissions that we are going to give to equity scheduling to access uh, our square account here, view your merchant profile information, view your payment history, take payments and make refunds, view your customer information, modify your customer information, take in person payments using a square reader, create and manage device codes. I will click on allow. And here 
it will be connected successfully here successfully authenticated with square now you cannot uh, connect stripe and square in the same time to to be able to connect one of these you have to disconnect the other one now you can also add a paypal right here you can go and add paypal to square for example if the customers has uh, a credit card and or a paypal account they you can go ahead and connect your paypal account here we are going to put the uh, paypal account that you have then click on connect and simply and with the single click of a button you will be connected now we have this i'm going to disconnect that because i don't have a, a paypal account with that name now here payment at booking you haven't set prices for your appointments you have to set the prices first and here we have the use the same method for all appointment types you can go go ahead and deactivate this or you can make the client tip when they pay in full for example here you will allow the tipping strategy or the tipping option on your payments and for the use of the same method for all payments uh, type or appointment type you have here collect deposit or full payments you can go ahead and type of a uh, type of payment is a full payment you can put a full payment or you can allow also to pay extra which is the tip you can deposit amount on, with the dollar or you can deposit amount with the percentage now for the collect and save card details we have this one you can reduce no shows here we have clients can pay full amount in advance this is for uh, is it is very very uh, useful for the booking since they will be booking uh, some places or some appointments and you are scared if they will uh, cancel anything you are going to make an advance or take an advance from the clients uh, and they will be sure to show up on the meeting or the uh, appointment you can go ahead and take the advance or you can tape also pay in full here and here, finally we have the option of payment information is not required they can pay full amount in advance also and they can tip also in full that was very simple when you click on to choose one of these options you are going to click on save and here everything will be good to go here the uh, the currency is not set up all you have to do is you go to calendar then you have to set up the prices and the appointment or you have to open the appointment booking right here and you will be good to go that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching and hope to see you soon on the next one